big metal barrel that is then dropped from a helicopter that's use can only be indiscriminate. And the regime has employed them as a terrorizing tactic, uh, often to depopulate areas uh, that have been completely under rebel control. Almost all of the Syrian refugees that I've talked to said more of their relatives, more of their acquaintances from their villages or their towns had arrived in Turkey. And they had even less hope of going back since there was a regime offensive and also an ISIS threat. During the Iraq war, the group currently known as ISIS became infamous for its indiscriminate suicide bombings, for its beheadings, for its assassinations of political opponents across the spectrum, including those within the Sunni insurgency in Iraq. They have employed very much the same approach in Syria. We now see videos of them beheading Alawites. We have seen a series of suicide attacks targeting rebel groups with which they have conflict. We have seen executions of community members for unverifiable perceived offenses against uh, their ultra-conservative Salafi values. The radical group in Syria, the Islamic State of Iraq and al-Sham, uh, had approached very close to the Turkish border. So right now what's behind us, at the foot of this hill, is a village controlled by ISIS. Basically, what you have here is the main border crossing, Beba Salame, and all the roads leading from it in the direction of Aleppo uh, are controlled by ISIS. So I was doing field work along the border in early November. I went to crossings between Syria and Turkey where you're able to speak with fighters who are leaving the country, in some cases directly from battle. Um, and speaking to them, hearing in their own words the extent to which ISIS had become an enemy to them on par with the regime, and in many of their views in, uh, in collaboration with the regime, helped us to understand as an organization the quickness and ferocity with which rebels would later turn on ISIS uh, in the months that followed. Of course, another thing that you notice when you go down to the border is how porous it is and how easy it is to, to pass through. Despite